Hello YouTubers, and welcome back as I play some more Victoria 2 and continue the Arab domination of the world. Let's get started, shall we? So, you know, I've got another 18 years, I guess, and I've got quite a bit of infamy to spend. I'll add you to my sphere. Cool, cool, cool. No need to encourage soldiers here anymore. Um, would you be maxed out if I did some clerks? Make a bit of an industrial push. I have a bunch of craftsmen, and that'll just be pretty much permanently unemployed over in Korea, because there's no way I'm making that a proper state. Nepal is still uncivilized. I could annex them. Not sure it would be worth it, though. I mean... Just over 100,000 pop? There's a lot of other things you can do with... Infamy. How many do you have? See, you've got twice as many just in here. Uh, residency. I want to stick with the reactionaries to the extent that I can from now on. You know, back in the day, I really wanted to annex Punjab, and they're in my sphere, but I could expel them. And lower their opinion, and then eventually... justify on them. I think I'll do that. Now I just need to start killing my relations with them. Hooray! Our Olympic athletes are victorious! Okay, 21st of June. Let's just get my speed going. Uh, protectionism. I'll insult you. Austria Hungary wants an alliance. Well, for now, sure. But I probably won't keep it. I'll add you to my sphere. And can I insult you again? 7th of July? Cool, cool, cool. Columbia is no longer in my sphere, but... I don't care that much, honestly. I made a lot of attempts on Columbia back when... The canal is still up for grabs, but it doesn't really matter now. Eh, yeah, help my factories out a bit. Can I get access through you? No, I need to get some ships down here. Not even very many. Thankfully, I've got my fleet nearby. I'm 
Better pro than anti. Even if jingoism would be better still. Man, I still can't get planes this late into the game. I mean, I have... Aeronautics, just no military aviation. Jingoism, hooray! Jingoism is the best. Oh, I've probably not... I probably missed a chance to... Insult you. Now, they'll probably bump me back up to, uh... Over a hundred before I can get a justify, but... Let's see, maybe they don't have any Diplo points. There you go. Twenty second of August. Oh, if I do this, this is gonna feel so good. I mean, remember way back at the beginning of the game, I wanted to annex them, but I never did. Well. Established protectorate time. Fuck yeah. Alright, this army. Let's kind of move you up this direction. I oh, got a bunch of infamy for it. That's unfortunate, but it happens. Eh, I'll stick with conservatives for now. Reactionaries would be better, sure, but conservatives will do. Got Arab communists rising up. No big deal. Yeah, just take him out. Yeah, no problem. Can influence Veroda. How long to my war justification is done? Okay. Not long. Lazy natives. I know it's taking a little bit longer because the militant, the conservatives are only pro military rather than jingo, but. Um, switching parties will just make people more militant, and I just don't feel like dealing with that at the moment. The justification will come, and I'll be fine. What I really like would be a crisis somewhere. One that I could get done into a great war. You know, you spend the last spurt of infamy to finish the game strong. Almost there. Would you ally me? Yeah, sure.
These guys I've sphered. Oh, oh they want to ally me. Alright, I own some of their core provinces. Persia! You and your fucking rebels all the time. When will you learn to handle your fucking people on your own? I mean, you can put down the rebels just fine, I suppose, but generally speaking, but wouldn't it be nice if you just didn't have to? Those are people that could be extracting RGOs for me. It matters to me because you're in my sphere. Things are going pretty well, I think. Except my frame rate today is just terrible. I don't know why. I'm not running any more than I usually do. I think after this session I'll check the uh, task manager. See if I've got anything that I could, uh, you know, cut. Austria-Hungary has declared war on Italy, and they want me to join. I'm tempted. Austria-Hungary and Montenegro so far versus Italy, Poland, and Ottoman Empire. Well. Uh, secondary power. Uh, cost me some prestige, but... Not a war I'm really that interested in. There we go. I don't have great recon efficiency here, well... So what I'll do is destroy the weak brigades, and then it'll be 100-100. Nice. And I could use an engineer on those other armies, and I've got an extra one here. And I'll do something like this. It's dangerous for him to go alone in theory, but... I mean, it's against an unsiv. I'm not too worried. There we go. Oh, yes, I can get the new army uh, text. Let's do it. You guys can go up over here, let's say, and help. Or you can just pass through, take them out and go. And you guys can merge up and go. So I'm attacking into the mountains, but I'm attacking an unsiv when I have gas attack. It doesn't really matter what I do. They're they're just dead. Oh, we've got my cat jumping up on my keyboard right now. Oh, you go on down, kitty. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry about that. Let's see, back to Italy. <laughs> oh my, that was terrible. Sorry if I made you dizzy there. Oh, 
Oh, look, Bukhara is trying to help. I'm so scared. But, yep, yeah, I've got this war pretty under control. Go figure, I'm fighting Punjab. Afghanistan's got rebels, and Persia's still got rebels, but I've got people sitting in Tehran, so... Nothing's gonna happen to Persia. I'll pop out. Oh. Afghanistan won't let me into their territory, right? At least last time they wouldn't give me access, and I'm guessing that's still the case. Oh, Arab fascists. I think I've got enough people in auto hunt to just take care of it. Oh, hey, my frame rates got a little. Oh, for a second it got a little bit better. Still not great, but. There we go. Hmm. I'll try not to question it too much. Alright, I should, you know, unpause. <laughs> Punjab, why don't you just accept your fate with dignity? Hmm, I didn't get informed about... Oh yeah, I did. Those are more of the fascists. Huh. Right. That's okay. Oh man, this is a big stack of just infantry. Let's split you up. Have you go that way and then hunt rebels? Well, I'll have plenty of infantry available then. I should get a bunch of artillery to go with it. make this go a bit faster. Won't be long now. Just march on down, good buddy. Oh, now there's a crisis. Son of a bitch. Right when I can't get involved. Well, Germany will call me in at least, and maybe I can add some war goal he'll actually enforce. Or, since I'm not actually in the crisis, I think I can do separate peace. Take that stack out. I don't really need them there. If I would have paid more attention, I could have been in on this crisis too. There we go. There, Punjab, and next. Let's get a bunch of artillery. Hooray! Go me! I beat up a weak unsieve. That must mean I'm really good at this game. But anyway, I think that's a pretty natural cutoff point. So I hope you have enjoyed the episode. 
and I'll be back with you for more Victoria 2.